Okay, then on row, um, let's see, the first time you do this is actually on row, okay, where is it? 14, row 14, you have the yarn over row, which is the little lace row that's got the holes. So to do yarn overs is what we do to make holes, like you did that in the Lily of the Valley last month. So it says knit one, yarn over, knit two together, repeat to the marker. So you will notice that the yarn over knit two together is in brackets. That's the part you're repeating is what's in the bracket. So the knit one, you do not repeat again. So you just do the knit one and there's yarn over knit two together, yarn over knit two together, yarn over knit two together, all the way across the row, all right? So then that's just gonna look like this. So here's your knit one. And then yarn over is just bringing the yarn forward like you're purling. Okay, so you're ready to purl, but you're actually going to be knitting. So that's what makes then this piece of yarn goes over the needle, crosses over the needle in order to knit. And yeah, let's drop everything. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yarn over, knit two together. And so then when I go to knit it, I end up with this, this piece of um, yarn over my yarn, over my needle. And that's where the hole comes from. Also, I knitted two together, so I added a stitch by the yarn over and I took away a stitch here. That way the stitch count again stays evenly. So the yarn over adds a stitch and I have to knit two together to take away a stitch so that I end up with the same number of stitches. We're not trying to add stitches. All right, and you're gonna do that all the way across your row. I don't even know if I have the right number of stitches to make this work out right, but we'll see. Knit two together. And split your yarn. Take yarn forward, knit two together. I do yarn forward, knit two together. That's the last thing you do. Then you're gonna hit your marker for your seed stitch. All right, and then now when you come to purl back, this is what it's gonna look like. So you have your purl one. That's what a yarn over looks like when you're gonna to come to it. It just is, it's just a piece of yarn that's been placed over the needle and it's just a big hole there. And you're just gonna purl in it like normal. Nothing's gonna be different. You're just gonna purl in it like normal. It'll feel different because it's just this big piece of yarn, but you're just gonna purl. And then when you're done purling, you have your little eyelets. And they're your eyelets. Okay, and that's all that's in the bubble square.